Alright. This is an overview of the new updated version of GarageBand, specifically on the iPad Pro. Um, I'm very happy with this uh, new update, and I want to show you some of the stuff it can do. Thanks, truck. Here we go. So, this is all my random stuff. I'm going to create a new track, and this is the Live Loops interface, which you may have heard about. Maybe not. Essentially, it, it's kind of Apple's interpretation of Ableton's Live interface. Um, it's a performance-based music environment where you can use pre-recorded samples provided by Apple or your own samples using Apple's instruments or other third-party plugins using inter-app audio, which I'll get to in a bit. Anyway, let's check it out. So right here is your grid-based environment. I'll show you what it's like to start from scratch. See, I had it here looking for synths, but we're gonna find some drums. Let's try. That's okay. That's good. All right, so we've got that in there. We're gonna add some more drums. All right, let's try these two together. And they all match pretty well, which is nice. Like you have to find the ones that work for you, but it's still cool. I'm gonna find, uh, get some synths in there. Oh yeah, that's cool. Alright, watch this. So you've already got like, this would be probably a good verse. So then, you can actually mess with this awesome like, DJ level effect setup, and I'll show you how that works. So this is like a cutoff resonance filter here, with full automated control here. And GarageBand's been updated, so you can actually save this automation when you record a song. Arpeggiator. Bit Crusher. Repeater. And of course you can blend all these. But pretty cool, right? So that's the live loops interface. And there's just like a lot of great stuff going on there. Personally, I would like to see some upgrades with the way that they treat inter-app audio devices like Chord Gadget, um, iMachine by Native Instruments, and just any other third-party synth app or digital audio workstation app because right now you're like kind of primitively copying and pasting audio, whereas I would really like to see a full MIDI plugin interface the same way you do on OS X or Windows um, in apps like Logic or um, Ableton Live, which this is clearly modeled after. I think Apple surprised a lot of people with this update because everyone assumed they'd make some kind of iOS version of Logic as a separate pro app, and it kind of seems like they're actually just going the opposite route and turning GarageBand into its own professional app with its own unique interface elements, and I think that's really exciting, so I'll let it play itself out. Yeah. 